This is a vlog of a guy who is real tough to get along with. Just ask kids for kids, Ambrose and Hades. I'm sure they both agree. They think their dad is great. How much can Sarah take? He loves himself a lot. He thinks that he's so hot. He scuba dives as well. In case you couldn't tell, Z Farm and Alec think that their dad's the best. You're welcome to stay to the world of TJ. Hey YouTubers, TJ Marks. It's the 15th of February, the day after Valentine's Day. Uh, the love's still flowing here a bit. We're still getting a bit mushy and stuff. Um, but while Sarah catches up on her Gossip Girl episodes, which are, for the record, junk, um, I figured I might as well do this vlog entry and hopefully get it out to you a little bit earlier than normal. Um, I was going to talk to you about the new neighbours um, and a few issues that are happening there, but we'll leave that one until tomorrow because I've just received a uh, message, I suppose you would call it, uh, from the Tobacco Free Florida page on Facebook. Now, first I want to, in the interest of full disclosure, I want to state that I'm a member of a number of anti-tobacco pages. Um, I think that smoking is gross, um, but I also think that the truth is more important than an agenda. Um, the ends don't just uh, justify the means in regards to lying about any sort of, you know, the, the medical consequences of anything. Um, to that regard, uh, the, to the Tobacco Free Florida page consistently make, uh, you know, false statements, I suppose. Um, every, you know, couple of days in regards to the effects of smoking or the regards in regards to what chemicals are used what you know chemicals that are found in smoking the, the, the quantities that they're found in or um, what products other products they might be found in and, and that sort of thing um, now this is a government agency it's part of the Florida state government um, and it's you know quite concerning to see any government agency of any country. I mean, I'm not American, but I'm Australian, but obviously, but any government agency, it's quite concerning to see them lie. And um, after this this uh, letter, I, I'm I have a little bit more understanding, I suppose, as to as to why there are so many people in America that are paranoid about what their government may or may not be keeping from them um, and about uh, government censorship and why Americans fight so hard for freedom of speech um, because that's that's most certainly what's going on here um, now I'm sure you know, I'll, I'll put up the uh, the actual letter right about now um, you can read it, I won't read through it for you, um, but I do want to put, make out a few points. Um, firstly, uh, the, the statements that I've corrected for them, and it's only been a correction with a citation as to where, where, my, where my statements come from, um, and it's always from a credible source, not the CDC, which I do not count as a credible source, um, and I'll go into that in another day as to why I don't count the CDC as a credible source, but, you know, universities and this sort of thing. Um, my corrections have always been to statements which have weak correlations in their evidence um, between, between uh, you, know, point, you know, point A and point B, um, incorrect statements, um, or statements which are frankly just misinformation so in short I'm just correcting Wu um, now you'll note in the letter that it says um, the word debate um, that they're not a place for debate well debate actually means discussion um, or to put it more fervently um, it means a passionate discussion um, now correcting someone and citing a credible source 
is in no means a discussion or a debate with them. It is merely correcting them. It is giving them a piece of correct information and saying, well, what you said was not actually correct. Here is the truth and here is where you can find the truth and you know these are credible sources try you know have a look over this information um, you'll note as well that they that they talk about you know secondhand smoke and this is one of the big points that they keep making is about oh secondhand smoke so terrible 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 now what i have said in regards to secondhand smoke and i repeatedly say it to them is that vehicle exhaust is more harmful to you than secondhand smoke. Now the point about vehicle exhaust being more harmful is one, it contains all the chemicals that secondhand smoke contains, but in a greater number. Two, it is inescapable. Inescapable. If you live in a metro area, you live in a suburban area, you are going to be coming in contact 24 hours a day with vehicle exhaust. It's just that simple. You know, you go in your house, you're still going to have vehicle exhaust in the air. If you go into your school, you're still going to have vehicle exhaust in the air. If you go into hospital, you're still going to have vehicle exhaust in the air. It's going to be everywhere, and it's more harmful than secondhand smoke. So why talk about secondhand smoke being harmful to you, and it's, oh, it's so terrible for you, and oh, you know, it causes this and this and this and this, when you've got something that is around you 24-7, which has strong collateral correlative evidence to suggest that many of the things that are attributed to smoking are actually attributed to, say, to vehicle exhaust. Why are we talking like this, you know, like, that's, an, that's another point. Um, and the disclaimer, which is, you know, they, they reference their disclaimer and they're making sure that their disclaimer isn't, you know, do not talk about things that are, that are that is against the rules in their disclaimer. Well, for starters, their disclaimer is actually a, le a you know a hodgepodge of different legal notices and the rules of posting, um, which isn't really a disclaimer. It's just sort of a mix of things. I wouldn't call that a disclaimer. A disclaimer is meant to be a specific legal notice to get you out of something. It's to disclaim something. Um, but anyway. If you look through it, and I'll put it up about now, um, you can see that it doesn't actually contain anything that suggests in the rules that you can't publicly correct them, you can't publicly criticize them. It doesn't even say anything that says debating or discussing an issue, which you know I wasn't doing, but for the sake of argument, it doesn't say that that's against the rules. All it says is that you can't, you know, the standard stuff, you can't you know, you swear, you can't be graphically violent, you can't um, infringe on copyright and blah, 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 that sort of crap. All the things that you would expect a, you know, standard, you know, rules of posting to contain. So, I'm, I'm really just blanking on this one, to be quite honest. I'm, I just, I don't know where to, where to go with it because... I don't know, it's just, it's just flabbergasting that a government agency could be so, so willful on their agenda that they would be willing to knowingly lie about things and willing to knowingly mislead the public in order to get their goal. And it doesn't even serve a purpose doing that because if you're thinking about it realistically, if the idea is to try and make as they say in their letter, it's to essentially ban tobacco. Why bother lying about it if you're going to do it one way or another? You know, if you're going to do it one way or another, just ban it. Don't go on about it and make all these false accusations and misinformation. Just do it. You know, don't don't talk shit. Basically. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there because I don't know I'm out of time. Um, I'm already at eight minutes and I don't want to go any longer. So cheers guys. This is probably gonna take four hours, five hours probably now to render. So have a good one. Put your comments in below. Are you a smoker? Are you not a smoker? Have you ever smoked in your life? Have you quit smoking and something or 
do you have something to say about big tobacco or about governments lying or anything just chuck it all down all down in the comments and uh, yeah let's let's actually have a big discussion about this um, without anyone censoring all right cheers guys see you tomorrow